For almost 10 years, Rosetta has been travelling through space. It's been using the planets of the solar system to catapult it to a speed of more than 100,000 kilometres an hour. And now, as it wakes from hibernation, it's hoped its systems are intact. It's made three flybys of the Earth, one of Mars. It's flown past two other asteroids during that time. It's a real veteran of spaceflight. And spaceflight takes its toll on robotic probes. And so they're really hoping that everything's going to be working and functioning fully for its main mission, which is to orbit, to map, and even to land on a comet for the first time in human history. Rosetta's due to catch up to this comet in May. After circling the four-kilometre-wide rock, it will then send down a lander. Using a harpoon system, it'll bolt itself to the comet, then begin to analyse its surface. And the jury's out at the moment on whether to go kind of high risk, go to an area where we're pretty sure the comet's going to erupt from, because remember, this comet is heading back towards the sun. It's going to get warmer over the next couple of years, and it'll eventually produce a big tail. Now, do you land the lander somewhere where the tail's going to flare out of, maybe damage it? Interesting, but risky. Or do you land in a safer place where you can hopefully hold on for the whole ride? Scientists are interested in the rocks which make up the comet. They believe it was created around four and a half billion years ago when the solar system formed. They hope the spacecraft will take the first close-up images of a comet's surface and say the findings could help answer whether the comets brought water, even life, to Earth. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.